Water flow control, take one. Right, so another little side project that I've had for many years, along in addition with building the brew rig, was to have this filling. Although we've got a ball cock, a ball valve, float valve here to stop any mishaps of overflow, that should shut off. Um, and we're obviously going to calibrate the sight glass at some stage. I should think my scales will cover that and I can do it by weight fairly accurately once I tar the empty vessel. But I still need to fill it up with water on a brew day. And as you can see there's an inlet but I've got no provision other than connecting a hose and bringing it all the way over here to fill it up. So many moons ago I blame Paul Wicks Deed for this one because um, I think he was the first person to have the gadget and I spent ages trying to f source it down which I think was one I discovered AliExpress um, and purchased not just the little LCD panel and the associated wiring but uh, I had to purchase the power supply for it but with the kit you got the shut off solenoid and the Hall Effect sensor which basically has got a little vein in there that goes around and feeds back the information on that so it can deliver a specific quantity of water into your system. Not essential but you know it's a blokey tech thing isn't it? And even better is I get a sexy little plastic cabinet that I've had kicking around for years also finally to have a use. Hence it's taped up. I can cut out, put the panel in and then you can see all the gubbins going on, the power supply will be mounted on a board maybe the terminal pins, whatever, I don't know yet it's going to live up there next to the panel so I'll probably loop the feed out and put a bush housing in there and take the supply off of it so on a brew day when I energise the panel it will power up the control flow I can tee in and just chop and move me ball cock isolation valve so I can get a T-valve come across, goes into solenoid valve which obviously opens and closes and allows the water to flow through. That tells me how much water is going through, how quickly. That tells that how much water. It's just another little gadget in it. And I bought it donkeys ago so it's not like it owes me anything and it's just sitting there if I don't use it. Well, it just goes to waste, isn't it? So, hopefully... <laughs> I've had it God knows how many years, hopefully when I um, power it up it'll work, so it's half inch BSP but they're quite little stubby fat connectors. These are half inch BSP of 15mm push fits, uh, the John Guest ones, they were the cheapest, about £1.88, something like that. But they're the tap connectors, so they're really designed for something like that. There's a recessed tube inside there which would go inside and then the outside of this marries up to a little washer inside so in theory you wouldn't need PTFE tape because it's sealing against that washer um, because these have got quite a fat stubby little side wall uh, thickness to them the tube inside the fit in sits on top rather than slide in so the washer is basically not serving any purpose because it doesn't actually go in and marry up with it so it may cause leakage so I preemptively tape them I, if this fails I might see if I can look for some washers that will sit on top but there isn't there's only about that much it's screwed into as opposed to that um, obviously I'll fit them all together now so you can't see so the idea of this little gubbins here as I'm going to connect my hose pipe up, I've got my stock cock there so I can sh pressurise it and shut it off. So I can pass water through here, I've got a bleed valve so obviously I can let the air out so we're under water pressure and uh, leave it at mains water pressure and see if we have any failure points. If we don't then bloody lucky for me. Obviously that's obviously low pressure RO system goes through all the pipes and ends up in there so that could serve on another system where you want to cut your domestic water with RO water or do an entire batch with RO water and 
Obviously you could put a caravan submersible pump in that and then just transfer it via a fitting through. Um, so it can still be pumped rather than me manhandle it across or decant it into another vessel and transfer it over. Depends on what brew it is and obviously thinking of the future I need as much weight movement taken away from what I actually need to do and more what I can get a pump or something to do. So we're just going to pressure test this for now, set up the water outside and fingers crossed guys fibre washers are your friend. Well they are mine today. Had the little leak on that one so whipped it off new lot of PTFE tape. One of those little fibre washers just sat inside obviously that's covered the end nipped up nice this has been on at full mains pressure blimey um, at least an hour the only place it leaks is in the airlock bleed valve so that's under full mains pressure not a drop so I think that's safe to assemble famous last words famous last words indeed as you can see is a partially cleared bench because I needed some room to let the dog see the rabbit and that's the rabbit one ball valve outlet to fill the HLT so the idea is I might have to put an angled connector on there I'm not sure but um, it'll be a pipe come around from there goes to that obviously I'm gonna probably look for something flexible another silicone hose or something a bit cheaper option that's got a bit of movement in it and then that can be stored out of the way when not in use or left hooked up obviously once you're doing your research on your kettle you need to obviously have that connected via a pump from the outlet there to avoid stratification of your water um, so that hose can come off and just be put out of the way somewhere and then on fill up time it will be used for that and obviously I can wheel this out a little bit that idea being obviously it's long enough so I can hose out around the top here get all the worst out decant it into a bucket dispose of it then set up the CIP and we're good to go so obviously I have to keep it in uh, in keeping with the theme so I managed to get the old uh, chrome plated copper pipe and some little fittings courtesy of Aliexpress so at the minute it's still on the original cable just so I can test it and mess about with it um, but obviously like I said before I'll plumb it into the wiring here and a little bit of fiddling about and we got it in here I think we're plugged in so we've got a couple of, I bought this extra wire that went in the back which is for a temperature sensor this one didn't come with uh, a temperature sensor you this one came as a kit with a solenoid which is there the wires are just long enough with my sort of critical placement to get it in there without having to chop the wires and the same with the uh, Hall effect sensor um, so I'll put a separate isolation switch because I've got several panel switches if anyone's in the market for buying panel switches or panel indicators I did buy um, a job lot so I thought well I'll put one to use and do that so that fires up the solenoid's not active until you press the stop run you might just faintly hear a little tap so you pan through the menu and you tell it how much water you want it to deliver it will keep going and uh, stop when it's finished delivering that amount of water well that's the theory anyway but, uh, I might put a T-piece in and move that valve onto it so that uh, I can add a caravan um, submersible pump on a 12 volt feed so I can drop the pump into this barrel and then pump RO water through into the HLT so if we want to as I said before mix RO and domestic water next bit will be obviously plumbing this in and seeing if we get any more leaks 
um, I've done whatever I can do on there so it's in the hand of the gods and um, PTFE tape they all held that time so we'll see what happens when um, when it's time so well we're back with another update yes we're we're still slogging on slowly but surely as you can see now we are hopefully plumbed in not my best work but with uh, we're working with what we got to save any extra trips going out so we've uh, lost the stop cock replaced it with a T and my drain valve I had underneath right down the bottom of the table which I use I've now put the um, stop tap there because I use that to drain the system down in the winter because obviously there's no mains water pressure in this is connected to a hose pipe there's no proper permanent feed to here at the minute um, that's going to be way off so we nick the tap put it there so we've got the RO system now running on that so we've shortened the um, lead length so obviously it fills up a little bit quicker now because there's less resistance for the distance Ooh, should have been a poet and uh, there's a little bit of noise because there's running some air in the system for all the plumbing work but um, that's now starting to quiet down so got a short on the waste hose but I haven't sort of decided where my permanent place will be for that so at the minute it's just strategically attached here so it doesn't fall down and uh, flood the shed so the blue is your treated water through and the white is the supply in and then it goes to the pressure switch so the little ball float in there raises up and shuts off which is a little pressure diaphragm in there so that raises and shuts the incoming water off so even if I'm not here it should in theory stop filling up once the tank gets full to the set level on the ball valve so and obviously with that being there now I can drop a caravan submersible in plumb it into there and pump round. Obviously I'd have to put a uh, stop tapping that in to stop the water pressure flowing back that way. But we could bypass that and then uh, plumb through with the RO water if need be. Which is why I like the old speed fit because there's no messing about. Just chop the pipe and put a new fitting in. So we're still on the um, temporary hookup. We've just done the hose for now just got the metre sample length I had with some El Cheapo Jubilee clips that go one turn tight and then they ring off so going gentle so we're now about to do the inaugural test turn on even better if I turn on there wouldn't it turn the go-go juice on turn that on that's opened the valve and the water will be pushing its way up to the tap minus the air. So if we that was the tap on us. Get all the shit out. And that is our filling connection. and see if we've got any spray patterns underneath the electric that always goes well looks good so far so good I'm right, just messing around with the calibration and settings I haven't even looked at how you change it yet but as you can see to get two litres in the jug I started off with two litres on the machine and obviously it overshot plus obviously when you break the vacuum of the pipe the remnants of the water in the pipe also trickles out as well as you can see it's held in we'll let that out now so we have the weight of the fitting on the scales as well so that says two litres that says um, 1600 mil so we know that's out and I've just <laughs> this was comical don't trust them by a country mile. I just put uh, 
well, allegedly two litres in there. Although maybe they're not that far out. Because that says two litres, filled it into there, which is a maximum of two litres. It just went over the top of that. Putting them in there, 1000 mil in that one. Now bearing in mind we're supposed to have two litres, so we should be filling that one up as well. We only got to there, but having said that, one litre, 1500 may be a bit there, Ooh, who knows. So we've got no graduations, could be 550, 600 mil. Now I've tarred this, so we have 1600 mil in here. 1600 mil of water. So maybe they are more accurate. Now I've set it up to deliver 1.8. So obviously this was my guesstimate to get 2 litres, which worked. Although it's not 2 litres in reality. So time's pushing on now, so we'll have a little play with this probably tomorrow evening when I uh, get a chance. But so far I've pissed around with it for quite a while. And nothing seems to be leaking other than the Jubilee clip joint there. So, so far so good. Something's bound to go wrong, isn't it? 